Hi, welcome. This is Noah's Ark Nursery. I am Karina. I am the mommy. I welcome you today. And thank you for hanging out with us. If this is your first time, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. I'd like to thank all of my subscribers. I see I have picked up some new subscribers. So I would like to thank them for subscribing. I hope you guys enjoy today's video. Just to let you guys know, today is Advent Day 1. It's December the 1st, 2022, and it's the first day of Advent. And it's also themed Thursday by Yvonne and having you on, which is... I have all three girls with me, guys, um, today. And, of course, I have Jeremiah. We're all on the sofa, ready for our devotional. I'm going to show you what they're wearing first. Um, but I'm going to be doing... Okay, this is how I'm going to do the devotional. I'm going to do a morning video with the Advent devotional every morning till Christmas Eve. And the girls will be in their pajamas. Then I'll do an adult devotional um, in the afternoon. And this afternoon I'm thinking of doing my home decor tour along with it. So I hope you guys can be here for that. Um, I want to be able to... I want it to be dark enough that you guys can see my Christmas tree lit up um, and my other lights on. So I might not do it until later on tonight because of the home decor tour, but then, or I might just do three videos today. We'll see. We'll see how today goes. Um, but I have the girls with me, all three of them, for Yvonne's having you on black, red, and white day. And to tell you, they all have on black, red, and white. <laughs> um, I just, I love what they're wearing here. I'm going to show you first Miss Hannah. I'm going to move this over here. I'm going to move the devotional over here, guys, so you guys can see the girls first. I'm going to show the girls first. Hannah has on a Carter's newborn red dress. It's a sweater dress, guys. It's really a heavy material. Underneath it, I have her Gerber newborn's onesie, but look at these sleeves. They're like the the real fancy, I don't know what you call them, the lacy type sleeves with like a lacy type print here. And it's a sweater dress. She has on white tights. Now, I don't have any shoes that really match this, so she doesn't have on any shoes, but she does have on white tights. And this dress came from, with a pair of pantalooms. And it's got, I have a red headband in her hair. Then we got Miss Mabel. This is a Carter's three month, this is a satin dress, really pretty. It's got the black and red checks on it with, look at this, the ribbon that goes around here is black with sequins, it's glitters. And it's kind of like a soft, it's like a, kind of like a velvety material, but it's not, as you can see. But it glitters. And then she has on a white onesie underneath it because the sleeves are short. Um, and you can't see them, but she has on a white sweater over top of it with black tights. There are no shoes that fit, Miss Mabel, just to tell you. The ones that do are like the sock type shoes, and they didn't look very good with this dress. So... I didn't do that, but she has in a red headband with a bow, and it glitters. Like the glitter in here, it glitters. I thought that was cute. Then you got Miss Mariah. She has on a black, a black baby gap dress. It's got like the, comes down like this, with a red, with a red quarter sweater and her Gerber newborn onesie. She has on black zero to three month garters tights and garters her real fancy black shoes with the bows. She looks really pretty and then she's got a white bow in her hair. And then there is Jeremiah. He's going to enjoy the devotional with us today. Aren't you baby? He says, I just want to sleep. It's too early in the morning, mommy. Well, it's not that early. Really, it's not that early, guys. But, here we go. I don't want you to see too much. Okay, this is the, the Advent devotional. I'm not going to do an Advent calendar. I'm going to do an Advent devotional. 
This is a devotion a day until Christmas. And it's got this angel on the front. And I'm going to show you the back of it. This is from Impressions of Faith. I got this at a consignment shop, guys. A devotion a day until Christmas. Current. And it it's from Current. And it's 1987-1993 Current Ink. So, apparently, this is a really old book. But, we're going to start, as you can see, we're going to start with the devotional. I'm reading it to the girls, guys. This is Advent Day, December 1st. Today is December 1st, guys. Okay. When God sent the angel Gabriel to tell Mary that she would soon give birth to a baby who would be God's son, that she would name the baby Jesus, he was making a promise to Mary, but he was also keeping a promise that he had made to us all, to all his people throughout the ages, the promise that he would send to us a Messiah who would save us from the sins of the world and lead us to eternal life in heaven. Oh my goodness, glory to God. And just think, Jesus was willing to do this for us guys. Christmas is the time to celebrate God's promise to us. For God kept his promise. He sent us Jesus. During the Advent, some families like to make a promise tree out of a bare branch. Each person hangs something on the tree as a sign of a promise they've made. A spoon could mean someone promises to do the dishes. My husband already does that. A straw from a broom could mean someone promises to keep their room clean. A tiny musical instrument could be a sign of a promise to be more joyful. Promises can be shared or kept secret until Christmas. What promises would you like to make this Advent? And then it's got the verse up here, guys. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb and bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus. Luke 1, 31. I don't know why it keeps going in and out, guys. There, 131 KJV. Now, this is our prayer for today because this book also has a prayer in it for each day. So I want to read it to you. Dear God, we're so glad your promise to us is not a secret, but one we can sing and shout about every day. We praise you for keeping your promise by sending us Jesus. On the first day of Christmas, on the, that first Christmas day, help us to keep all the promises we make to others. Amen. That is Advent Devotional Day 1. I am going to do devotional days, guys, um, and as of tomorrow, I'll have the snowman out, Mariah and I will do the snowman quick tomorrow, but um, this is just a quick devotional um, for every day, and it's got every day through the 24th of December, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, the girls enjoyed it. Mariah, did you enjoy the devotional? Mariah, you better look over here. Mariah decided she wanted to look out the window while I was doing the devotional, guys. Hello? We got to get Mar Miss Mariah into this. Because I'm doing this for her. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to start doing devotionals with her. Miss Mariah, look at Mommy. Yank, Mommy. I enjoyed the devotional today. That was good. God promised us his son. And he gave us his son. That's right, he did. And that's why we celebrate Christmas. But, Mommy, I still want presents. I know you still want presents. Thank you, Mommy. I still want presents. And Miss Mabel's here. Now, Miss Mabel, she was the star of my, the topic, I should say, of my counseling session yesterday. Um, Miss Mabel got into my counseling session I was feeding her her snack time bottle and it was about that time so I was snuggling with her and so she got to snuggle with me yesterday and then here's Miss Anna Miss Anna's just like I'm just here mommy I just a little baby and I just here you know Mabel and Hannah they're just here and of course Mariah and Mariah wants all her Christmas presents so she's gonna be a good girl up till Christmas right Mariah yes mommy I will be a very good girl and do everything you tell me to do. 
Okay, don't slouch. Okay, sweetheart, don't slouch, sweetie, okay? Okay, mommy. And then we have Jeremiah, who is excited for Christmas because he gets all his special to buy toys. And in his stocking, he's going to get special to buy treats. He likes that, guys. Yes, and he's just laying here. He's just laying here. Now he's looking up at the camera saying, Hi, people. He says, I think I'll just lay here for a little while longer. Say, I had a busy night last night. I got up like twice. And Mommy got up. So I got up with Mommy. Yes. He says, when Mommy got up to go to, well, when Mommy got up in the middle of the night, he got up. So, I hope you guys enjoyed my devotional today. I hope you guys enjoyed my video today. Today is Advent Devotional 1. Tomorrow will be 2. Um, I will try to do two videos a day so I can still do the, the other devotional. Um, there will be some days I might not do the other devotional. I'll just do one video and do the Advent Devotional. Um, because I actually like this devotional. It really gives you something to think about. You know, God kept his promise to us. Jesus could have sat up there and said, Oh, no, I'm not going down there. But he did it anyway. When God makes a promise, guys, we can take it to the bank and deposit it. And he kept his promise with his son. So this is Advent Day 1. Gabriel came to tell Mary, You're going to have a son. And you're going to name him Jesus, Emmanuel, which means God with us, the everlasting Father, the mighty God, the Counselor, the Prince of Peace. I'm thinking of one of my favorite Christmas songs. Um, so, and that's another thing. Um, girls and I are going to do a Christmas song for you guys. We're going to practice it, and we're going to do a Christmas song for you guys. Um, so I hope you guys like that idea. Um, thank you for watching, and I hope you guys have a blessed and wonderful Thursday. And I will see you this afternoon for the big devotion, or maybe tonight for the big devotion. I'll do it later tonight um, and upload it before I go to bed. Um, it'll probably be uploaded. I know it will be uploaded before 8 o'clock because we go to bed at 8 o'clock. Um, my husband has to work tomorrow, so he has to work eight hours tomorrow, which kind of messes up the nursing home for us. I really wish I could start driving, guys. Um, I just, I wish I could start driving. Um, I will say that the doctor and I, not to get off the topic of Advent, but the doctor and I did talk about that last week, and I have to get an eye exam after the new year. And if he likes what he hears from the eye doctor, I've kept up on my license. I've renewed it every year. I just have to go to a vacant parking lot and, like, remind myself how to drive. But I can then start driving, which means I can go any day to the nursing home with the girls, um, which would be perfect because my husband starts five eight-hour days next, starting January 2nd. When he goes back to work after Christmas, it will be five eight-hour days. Monday through Friday and that means that we would have to go on Saturdays to visit them which isn't bad because people go in on Saturdays when I was in that nursing home when I was in the nursing home for that five days I was in there over a Saturday and there were lots of visitors in and out so that's why going the week is during the week is more perfect and going on Sundays I'd be right in the middle of their church service and I don't want to interrupt their church service trust me they need it this place mm-hmm I heard some stories but you know but I really enjoy going to see my ladies at the nursing home and this week Jeremiah was supposed to go so I'm actually gonna call later today probably when I get off of here and talk to the activities director and see if we can't maybe move it to Saturday um, I'm thinking next Friday we should be able to go my husband's already talking. If he can't get off, he's just going to take his last vacation day. I cannot believe I'm hearing this from my husband. Um, because, well, he doesn't want to have to work. Probably the next, 
I hate to announce this to anybody that works with him that's watching, but y'all might be working the next three Fridays. I, I just, I think they will be working the next three Fridays. Um, I, I don't know for sure. Um, I hope not. Because everybody needs a break, guys. And, you know, they need a break. I, I don't trust this company. I really don't. To give them that, but, you know, we'll see. But anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed our Advent devotional. Now, tomorrow morning when I do the Advent devotional, it'll only be with, because I'll do an extra video then right away. I'll upload the Advent devotional one, and then I will do another one right away. Um with the baby that I'm going to be featuring tomorrow and my don't forget my Christmas tag and it's an any day tag this week it was casual Christmas so it's an any day tag it's called Christmas baby um, tomorrow I will be introducing the theme for next week I hope you guys like the theme for next week I think it's pretty cute I actually got the idea from well anyway I actually got the idea when we were out the other day so if that tells you anything. Um, but I will see you all later this afternoon. Um, probably this evening when it gets dark. I probably won't do the video until about 6. Um, simply because I can. it will be dark enough that I can turn on. The Christmas tree will be on. And I can just really quick do the devotional and the Christmas tree. And do you guys my Christmas home decor tour. So I hope you guys will enjoy that video and be able to watch that video too. Um, so you guys can see how I have my house decorated for Christmas because I'm really I, I'm, I'm not proud of myself but I'm just thankful to God because this year for the first time I decorated it myself so this year is the first year that I've really gotten back into Christmas I mean the first year we had Jeremiah which was two years ago I, I, I gotta say I was really into Christmas but I know I've had a piece of hair sitting there but I've, I've really been, I was into Christmas then, and I had more Christmas joy than I had in a long time. Um, but this year, our family is expanding, and we have Jeremiah, we have Mariah, we have Mabel, we have Hannah. And if I'm right, today, we get the new one. I don't know for a fact if she's coming, but I'm kind of still waiting. It's after 11 o'clock, guys. It's just after 11 o'clock. Our mail doesn't come here till about 11.30, 12 o'clock. So if it's on that mail truck, it'll be here. Um, she'll have to deliver, our mail person will have to deliver it because it's not going to fit in the boxes down there. Um, we have boxes with locks, which if they did, could get it in the bigger box, but I don't think that box is going to fit in anything. They're going to have to bring it to my door. Um so I'm just waiting I'm here I'm not going anywhere so I will talk to you tomorrow or later on today when I do my home decor tour and I hope you guys have a blessed day and, and I'll see you later guys bye thanks for hanging out with us and doing our Advent devotional with us today bye